All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. And yes, I know my voice sounds like I just smoked 18 packs of cigarettes, but I had a cough for the last couple days and it tore up my throat a little bit. Whatever, don't judge me. All right. So anyways, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get data from these form fields and also how to validate them. So we already know how to make them, in other words, how to display them in our app. But what happens when, let's say the user types in some username and they hit like submit to log into your website well we need to actually pull out the data from here and either send it off to our database or you know update our app in some kind of way so the first thing I'm gonna do is show you guys how to actually get that data so it's actually really easy by the way that was our starting point I actually don't even remember what was the last tutorial I taught you but anyways our starting point for this one is just for a field and a button that does nothing as of now whenever you click it really simple stuff alright so after your button what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say whenever we click this button just extract that data and print it out in the terminal now obviously you would want to do something a little bit more than that but I just want to show you guys the concept of how that's done right now so of course we need button set on action E alright so what do you want to happen whenever you click that button let me make this a little bit prettier well what we want to do is we just want to print something out in the terminal so system out print line and anytime you want to extract the information from a form element you just put the name of that element in this word in this case it's a text field so name input get text too lazy to type those last two characters all right so now check this out so now what we can do is if they type the new Boston whatever hit login we can pull that data out if they can type you know some number pull that data out so that's how we actually get whatever the user typed in now here's the thing usually you just don't want to get whatever value and then just start doing whatever you want to it you want to validate it in some kind of way and by that I mean what if you're making some kind of like chat application or social network app and you wanted the user to type in their age well if they typed in tuna fish you obviously wouldn't want to store tuna fish in your database for age so you'd want to actually verify that they typed in some number first so let me show you how to do that so instead of just printing something out what you usually want to do is you want to build a couple different methods and one of your methods is gonna say verify that the data is an integer another another method might verify that the data they typed in is I don't know like maybe text only so let's just say that we were looking for the user to enter their age and I'll show you guys how to validate if the data is an integer and then once you understand that you guys are gonna understand how to do it for any other type of data and you also um might want to make your own custom validation for example if you are having users sign up and you want them to throw in a password you might want to make sure that it has a capital letter a lowercase letter and like a number and like a weird symbol so that would be an example of a custom one so let's just go ahead and make one called is int and this one we're gonna have two parameters name input which is the entire field itself and I'm also going to throw in the value of it, whatever they typed in. So name input, get text. Now obviously we have to make this, so let me first tighten that up. All right. So I would want it private, boolean. I'm just going to say return true. If it is an integer, return false. If it is not, for example, if they typed in tuna fish or some word or like a question mark or something. However, if you want to, you can, you know, just return the integer or whatever, doesn't matter. And I named it is int. So this validation method is going to take, of course, a text field. And I'll just name it, I don't know, input, whatever. And it's also going to take the value that they typed in and we'll just call this the message. Now, the easiest way and there are a bunch of different um, techniques that you can use but the easiest one I'm gonna show you guys is this what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw a try catch statement in here and since we're validating numbers I know that this is gonna be a number format exception 
but this is going to be different if you're like validating email addresses or whatever so basically what we're going to do is we're going to say int age and hopefully they did type in a number so what we can do is we can just say integer parse int and inside here you can actually type in a couple different things you can say input get text and of course this is going to get whatever they typed in or you can just say message so again this is going to give you a double uh, you know a couple of different options depending on if you want to look at the actual input or the message if you want to make this really easy you can just simplify it and throw the message in there but actually the reason that you might want to have the input itself is because let's say that you wanted to um check if it was a number and if it wasn't you wanted to highlight that input in red well then you would actually need a reference to the actual input so I'll show you guys uh, both of the techniques so say input get text so what this is going to do is it's going to get whatever they typed in and it's going to try to convert it to an integer now this is only going to work if they typed in an actual number if they typed in you know the name Bucky or something it's going to throw an error so that's why after this we can just say you know just print something out in the terminal nice for us um, what can we say we'll say like the user is age and of course since this is gonna return a boolean we'll say true so hopefully if all goes well they typed in like the number or yeah the number 19 converts it to age says user is 19 and returns true no problems however if they typed in something like I don't know their name by accident we're just gonna say system out print line and the reason that this catch occurs is because it can't convert a name to an integer so it's gonna throw that exception so now we can just print out some error like error move this out of the way message and again this message and this input get text they're the exact same thing in this tutorial just saw uh, you know I'm demonstrating two different ways that you can do it and we'll just say something like is not a number and of course we would want to return false alright so check this out let's run this bad boy and alright making sure I got everything set up right alright so hopefully whenever you're looking for their age you're gonna type something like 18 click me user is 18 however if they type like bacon that's obviously not a number so it's gonna say error bacon is not a number and again if you want to do something like highlight this in red then you can do that as well so anyways one last time what's going on is whenever we validate the data we're passing in the data and in this case we're trying to convert it to an integer now it can convert any number to an integer no problem however when it tries to convert some text or like an email address to an integer it's gonna throw an error and it's gonna kick off our catch statement so there you go I'm gonna probably go take some cough medicine and uh, yeah see you guys later